one, two, one, two. Testing, testing. Lovely. I'm very bad at thinking of things to say to that. Um, Jacob Gershon is the uh, pseudonym I gave myself when I was writing poetry and some of that poetry got published by a very kind uh, magazine editor when I was 16 um, who gave me a chance to publish it and uh, then the Daily Mail obviously um, unmasked my my fake name and uh, rev I think reviewed my poetry in the Daily Mail not kindly um, and um, but you know and now I look back on it and I go like, oh my god I was writing such uh, sort of teenage poetry that I, I it's quite it's quite embarrassing now but you know I'm glad I did it no plans for a book of poems not uh, not any time in the near future <laughs> Um, you know, it, it's amazing having a portrait in the in the in the National Portrait Gallery. It's one of those things that is just insane. It's an insane thing about my life, and my life is full of these things that I like forget how crazy they are. And then sometimes somebody will say to me like, "You have a painting in the National Portrait Gallery," and I'll go, "Oh yeah, that's crazy." Um, so yeah, it's a it's it's one of those um, you know, it's like. Yeah, it's just, it's surreal and lovely, but uh, I try not to put too much, um, you know, stock in it. It's not like I'm like, oh yeah, I'm in the National Portrait Gallery because I'm great. It's just something that happened. Um, you know, I'm always very careful to say when anyone mentions my dyspraxia that I am uh, very much on the on the lighter end of, of dyspraxia. Some people deal with it a lot more coordination issues than, than I do. Um, and I think actually there was something about my job and being an actor that kind of made me... Um, it forced me into situations where I had to do stuff which I think in the end helped my dyspraxia. There are some things I still can't do, like if any dyspraxic person looked at my handwriting they would immediately go, oh yes, dyspraxic. Um, but, but most of the time I'm very lucky because it doesn't really affect my day-to-day -day life. Um.